this YouTube, I'm going to take you through a week in my life and it's going to be interesting. So here we go. Okay, so actually today is an unfortunate day for me because I'm having to head to the dentist and I'm supposed to be getting a root canal. I talked to my mom and she was like, you know, if you've had this bad tooth, it can cause a lot of your health problems. Like it can make, affect your heart and all types of stuff. So she was like, so glad that you went to the doctor. But then I started looking into it more and this tooth has already had a root canal on it. Like either once or twice and then I'm having to do it again either way it's having to be redone so started investigating it more and found this documentary called root calls and root canals can cause a lot of chronic pain I've been having a lot of chronic pain a lot of just illness and it was so funny because the first way that it started was this the guy who went on this like health journey literally did everything that i've been doing like i've been trying every type of therapy healing weird crap to make me feel better and i still wake up every morning just tired he found that everything happened because of his tooth that he got a root canal in it's because of the meridians it's because of the meridians every tooth is connected to a meridian, to a meridian. That affects a certain part of the body it's, it's real. It's real. And so maybe my tooth is causing all this stuff. And so now I'm like, am I just going to get another root canal to make it worse? Or am I just going to get my tooth pulled? Unfortunately, it's my back tooth. This one, I got care. So here we go. Hopefully it all goes well. First, we're going to get our blood drawn for hormones because I do all this crazy stuff at least once a week because I know that there's something going on with me. I'm like, what is wrong with me? So this week, it's a hormone test. How many hormone tests have I taken? Probably like four this year, <laughs> but why not make it five? So we're gonna take my fifth hormone test of the year and then get my teeth pulled or get another root canal that's gonna just make me infected and infested. Oh! It's gonna be okay though, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Your tooth's coming out, you're gonna be healthy, your body's gonna heal up. I mean, would you love me even if I only had some teeth left? <laughs> yes, without hesitation, yes. But we're gonna get you some kind of mouthpiece. <laughs> I could use a flipper. Flipper? It's called a flipper because it's not like a real. They don't. They only had their baby teeth, but they tried to make it look like grown women, so they put in a flipper, and it's like basically like dentures. Wait, little kids do that? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you can do that, but that is that is weird. Okay, I'm back. I did get a root canal. I don't know if it was the best decision still, but when I walked into the office, I was like, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm trying to talk normal. So cute. When I walked in to the doctor, I was like, I just want to let you know, I'm like pretty nervous. I watched this documentary and he was like, was it root cause? And they were, I was like, yes. And I've been having a lot of issues. And he was like, they took it off Netflix because it's BS. And then I get in there and they're getting all prepped and they didn't give me laughing gas and i was like wait i'm gonna need some laughing gas for this and they're like it's gonna be an extra four hundred dollars and i was like what so i was like okay well i guess i'm gonna try to do it without it man they start putting the syringes in of the numb stuff and he was like you should be able to feel that i'm like oh i can still feel it well i can still feel it and then that just like really stressed me out and then adam right before i really started doing it sends me a voice memo being like, babe, I really don't think you should get the root canal. Like, you know, these businesses, think about they'll go under if you can't get the root canals or whatever you said. <laughs> and I'm like, well, shit, I'm already in the middle of it. And so anyway, I finally like, give me the laughing gas. I don't even care at this point. Then the laughing gas, like, I just love it. And I remember <laughs> like, like, if I had a drug of choice, it's laughing gas. <laughs> And I was just like, oh my God, this is so worth it at first. But then my jaw, oh, my jaw is messed up. I've had bilateral TMJ surgery and I've just had a lot of jaw problems. So keeping my mouth open like that for that long is like basically impossible. And the tooth is a very back tooth. So I'm pretty sure that dentist hates me because he was like, open your mouth, open your mouth. I'm like, I'm trying to open my mouth. And I was about to cry because my jaw hurt so bad. It wasn't the tooth, it was the jaw. I oh, was God. like, ah. And he couldn't see it. So 
<laughs> it took forever and it was terrible. And now I'm really numb because we had to put in one more syringe of numbing than I think normal. And now I'm about to just lay down. He was like, you wanna go to yoga? I'm like, I can barely talk. I got so many wrinkles. Look at them. The old's coming out of me. Oh no. And I found so many gray hairs. Oh, look at them. Babe, embrace the old. The old is beautiful. Good morning. I am eating my oatmeal, drinking my coffee, about to do all the morning routine things. I kind of cleaned up my space just a little bit so I feel all good and relaxed. Today I have two interior designers that are coming in to look at my second bedroom. I don't know how long I'm staying at this place. I mean, why not just move every year? I'm kidding. But I know that wherever I move, I would want two bedrooms. And so the second bedroom will be like the office, I would say, with like a sleeper sofa. So people who, like my mom and dad who come over or come to stay, they can stay there, but make it more like usable than it was. So I'm really excited about that. And then I have an acupuncture appointment at 1.30. And then at like 3.30, I have an appointment with, um, like I went and got some of my, like a hormone panel done because honestly, cause Adam was getting it done. So I was like, well, I guess I'll do it too. So I have like the consultation to understand what all the results were for that. And then in the meantime, I've got to do some work on a project that I've been doing forever and Maybe I'll go on a walk or something. I don't really know. Honestly, I'm still waking up. And then tonight I'll probably watch Mockingjay Part 2 because the past three nights I've been watching the Hunger Games series again because it's so good. Also, those books were so good. The movies are good, but they're not as good as the books. Right now, the books that I read in the morning. So I have Jesus Calling. I think this is like basic Christian. <laughs> This is my Bible from seventh grade. I know it's like cheesy that it has this lily on it, but I love it so much. I need to get it rebound because it's like, it's coming apart. I love this Bible. It just has so many like, I don't know. I'm just like really attached to it. I'd be really sad if something happened to this Bible. Where do I send a Bible to be rebound? Because we are looking crusty. Then I will read this Unshakable by Christine Kane. I love this book. I also love the Embrace by Lisa Turkhurst. That was the first one that I did. This is my new one. I've already done this one a little bit before, but didn't like keep track of it because I was going in between the Embrace and this one. And then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna fully do Embrace and now I'm gonna do Unshakable. And then I just got in the new Lisa Turkhurst one. And I can't remember what it's called, but it's really cute. So I'm like, I've got my devotionals each day. I'm good for at least another year. Then I'm reading The Untethered Soul. Adam suggested this to me and then also Oprah talks about it. And like, who doesn't love Oprah? I'm reading three books right now. I'm reading this one. I'm listening to her audiobook, and I'm listening to What Happened to You. But that one's a little bit like uh, hard to read, especially if you like had any type of trauma. That one's gonna be like a long read, I think, but where I know for sure The Untethered Soul and then I'm reading The Masterpiece by Francine Rivers, which is a fiction book. I need to get more fiction in my life. My favorite book is Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. So this is, I've read one other one from her and loved it and then this one. So yeah, reading that and then these are my journal. This is my gratitude journal and this is my journal right now. Oh my gosh, is it already breaking? It's kind of splitting, that is not good. So yeah, I'm gonna do that really quick because I only have 30 minutes before the designers come here today and I'm still in my pajamas, but I think I'm gonna stay in my pajamas because they're so cute. Like, it's not that embarrassing. So I'm gonna stay in these. All right, I gotta go have time with Jesus and set myself up for success. Okay, what's up? <laughs> I had such a surprise. I love your outfit. <laughs> I can use the pajamas. Aww. Heather's here. We just had pizza and Diet Coke and Coke for her. Now we're having a little bit of wine, chatting, and Heather's getting her feet massaged. This is the best thing ever. I know. I'm about to do my caps. You can like put it on this. But today was a good day. I am so excited about my second room being an office. I cannot wait for y'all to see more of it. They came and did all the designs today. And then acupuncture was great. So that's my day today. And we're about to have a slumber party in our pajamas. Woo! I mean, 
These are really cute. They're really cute and really comfortable. And I, I love them. <laughs> So we just had slumber. Okay, so everybody makes fun of me because I keep my air on all day at 65. On snowflake. <laughs> like she can barely walk. It's because well, you have to walk in her house. You get in, you literally comfortable walking around and then you get in, you like hunch. And like, <laughs> walk around because it's so cold. But I was like, I always say, I'm like, I can't sleep at night. It gets so hot. And what happened? Heather had to take off all her clothes. <laughs> It's an inferno in here. It is so hot. It's not 65 degrees in no, here. No, it's not. It's 85. And so that is the reason why I keep it so cold. But it, like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Maybe but it's just keep it at 75 and it'll be normal. I have a nest. So do you know if the nest is motion activated? Because I don't know what's going on. Also, I talk in my sleep. I asked Heather a question. She can't remember what it was. What else happened? <laughs> That's we all that slept. I can recap. <laughs> Oh, do you know what REM means? What it stands for? <laughs> you knew that already. <laughs> no, I, after you said it, I remembered. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Rapid eye movement. So I have sleep issues. Some people say I had a test that said I had narcolepsy. Then I had the sleep apnea test and I get like 80% oxygen when I sleep. Not good. I always talk in my sleep. And when I start to sleep, I start twitching. Like I'll bet like that. I <laughs> mean, not that excessive, but sometimes I was looking up like, why do I sleep talk? And it has something to do with like REM sleep, sleep disorder. I always say my eyes are tired because it's probably because I'm having so much rapid so eye, much movement. eye movement. that exhausts mm -hmm. your eyes in the night. Yeah. So that's the other thing we discovered. So that's yeah, it. Yeah, that was a good night. <laughs> coffee time. Okay, that's it. We're going to go have some coffee now. Hello. It's a beautiful day. I ended up sleeping in like till almost 10 o'clock. I just ordered a breakfast burrito, but then I started thinking, I talked to, had a really great uh, therapy session yesterday. And I was talking about just stuff I'm going through. Anyway, one of the things we talked about is like, I feel like I have to do everything to the extreme or not at all. And I haven't been able to run or like, I've been like scared to run. So before I eat my burrito, I'm gonna just go run one mile and then stop. And then I can come back and eat my burrito. I'm not doing this to punish myself. I'm doing it because it'll feel good. You know, I've had a pretty slow morning to get up, move my body, and then I'll enjoy the burrito so much more. So, woohoo! He's back. She came and picked me up. And that is very nice of me. I told her <laughs> I was going to get a car because I didn't want her to have to sit in traffic. And was, because I was having stomach aches. She was having stomach aches. And I told her I was gonna get a car, but she said, no, I'll come get you. And that proved to me that she loves me. Yeah, better. But she <laughs> also said I never had to do I'm it again. I'm never gonna make her come pick me up at the airport <laughs> again. Because why stress both of us? You know? Yeah, it was stressful and people kept honking. Yeah. But I'm glad you did. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to show you that I picked him up. She did. Yeah, so we're going to the movies. We're gonna go see Cruella. We're here. Yeah, we made it. So we're gonna see a movie. All right, so I had to get up this morning to go straight to investigating. I have a project coming out soon. It, it has a lot of like legal stuff that it has to go through and permission and blah, 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 blah. So I'm trying to get that all figured out right now. I got my Jura coffee machine, I think is finally working. It was broken for like a month and I um, basically drank acid, like whatever chemical it was. And Adam has done the rinse cycle on it like 10 times and it still kind of tastes like it, but I gotta have some type of coffee. So right now I'm trying to get this done. Wait, you said you got a, you got a key. You're sure? Okay. We're going to yoga and we're riding our bikes. And last night I didn't sleep a week. And I did. Oh. 
This is not a good angle. <laughs> A beautiful Sunday. We are riding bikes. It is so fun. I have the old red stain still on. And I can't get them off. I can even read. It's already, I'm already sweating. So hot in here. It's sticky and humid and smelly. Fine. And we love Leah. And we're right in the front. Because I like to be in the front and I like to be back in the mirror. Because when I'm back in the mirror, I can adjust my skin. So that's why. Alright, so I'm about to go and I'm gonna stay. Alright, bye. So, we went to yoga and it was rather good, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it was great. Yoga was great. Well, actually, we got some green smoothies. Adam got a protein smoothie on our bike ride home and then took showers and ordered real lunch. We got athletes burritos, healthy burritos. And then we started feeling like we just want to snuggle. So we um, watched Bohemian Rhapsody. Adam fell asleep. I'm not very, I didn't fall asleep. I watched the whole thing. It's a very good movie. But we have to go to the park and we got our wagon to enjoy the live music. It's gonna be fun. Babe, are you excited about going to the park? My favorite part of the week. It is honestly our favorite thing. It winds down the weekend ready for the work week. Live music, sunshine, a lot of happy people, kids running around, dogs running around. It's perfect. It's perfect. I feel like we said we were going to do a lot more today than we did. That's kind of how Sundays like... usually are. <laughs> yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. I mean, we've had a busy week. I had somewhat of an emotional week. Yeah. So this is a perfect way to decompress and to get ready for the work week. Yeah. So we're not going to feel bad about it. I'm just going to go enjoy the music. Okay. That's what we're doing. Thank you.